If you're a big gamer like me, or you just understand how big the gaming industry truly is and how much opportunity is there, then you'll understand that the combination of NFTs plus gaming is like lightning in a bottle. Today, I show you a brand new upcoming RPG multiplayer game that is NFT enabled that is getting ready for their very first sale that you don't want to miss out. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about the next big RPG multiplayer game that is NFT enabled. Now I talk about NFT and gaming on this channel a lot. So if you guys are following along, you're like, oh, another one's Dash? Well, yes, but this one is coming from a studio that has big level credits. I mean, these are credits from games like Fortnite, Gears of War, uh, and some of your other favorites out there. We're gonna talk about all the games that they've actually touched and been a part of, which is one of the main reasons why I'm actually really excited about this game. So before we get into all that, I reveal exactly what game I'm talking about and why you might wanna get in on their first sale that they have coming up here very soon. Make sure that you guys, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn the bell notifications on so you can uh, get uh, notified every time I go live. And make sure to smash that like. We need those likes smashed. And if you're not already part of my community of stashers, you can join in my Telegram link there below. All right, so today we're talking about Big Time. This is an RPG that is a multiplayer action RPG that takes you across time with a really cool, unique style and is coming from a game studio with some pretty big names in the industry that have done a lot of big work here. And so they're getting ready to launch their very first collection here on July 22nd. So there's a little bit of time to get prepared, but now is the big time. It is big time. And so big time, like I said, is this multiplayer action RPG and uh, you team up with friends and you you adventure across time and space. So I'm, I'm thinking that it's going to be a little bit of cross between uh, like, uh, 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 you know, your Fortnites, but uh, then also like, uh, you know, some of these other games where they have some RPG elements in uh, to them as well. So I think that's something that, that, that we're, we were looking at here as being a little bit unique. It's not going to be a full RPG, but more of an action RPG. Um, something like, uh, you know, uh, Outlands, I think, would be kind of a good maybe example of something here. Now, the style is definitely different. It looks a little bit different, but I think we'll have some of those same RPG elements that we see there. So basically, as you can see, you know, you have this uh, this uh, timeline system that allows players to level up uh, characters in multiple class paths and switch between them. So it's a kind of a class base, but 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 diverse way to be able to go. It's, it's kind of crazy. I can they say you can switch on the fly and they revealed a couple of the characters like Time Warrior, uh, Chronomancer, Shadow Blade. They have another one they have not uh, revealed just yet. But then you can kind of see some of the really cool weapons here. So, you know, battle axes, dual blades. Uh, two-handed great sword. So these are some of the things that you can you can use as weaponry in different for different play styles. So versus you know a lot of the games that are this style, it's usually like pew 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 pew, and there's not a lot of like melee combat, right? When it comes down to it, most of the combat is done at a distance, and you're shooting somebody. Uh, but this game is taking a little bit of a different approach, and they're going I think a little bit more melee style. Uh, I like the quantum staff. I think that one looks pretty cool. So basically, yeah, you have this like you, this time machine portal uh, that they say you can upgrade your own personal time machine with different skins and uh, with legendary artifacts from across uh, all the space and time. So uh, this is kind of a, a central part of the game itself. And all these collectible items are going to be NFTs. So skins and characters, things like that. Uh, they're gonna, they haven't revealed exactly everything that's going to be an NFT, but it's going to be a big part of what is going on inside this game and inside the marketplace. So I like the look and feel of the game already and the fact that they're just barely getting started here. But what I want to show you too is, is, is that they have a very deep team here. So when you look at the team that is behind big time, uh, we have Ari Mellish, which is the uh, founder. He's one of the founders at Decentraland. You guys know DCL. We've talked about it many times here. If you don't, I would be surprised. But he's the CEO behind this project. So he's kind of the crypto guy who has now hired this big team of people. And so you have people who are coming from uh, you know, EA and Zynga and Fortnite have worked on Gears of War, Medal of Honor, uh, Ratchet and Clank, World of Warcraft, Fortnite again, you know, Call of Duty, Overwatch 2, Blade Runner 2049. 
uh, Command and Conquer, League of Legends, Sky, uh, and, and, and Sky Children of the Light. So there's there's so much going on here with this team. They have they have some pretty good credits uh, for some of the past games they worked on. So this gives me confidence in the fact that this studio is going to be able to pull off a really good you know, well thought out, well polished game that is going to be fun to play in the style of like kind of a Fortnite meets uh, Outlands meets, you know, kind of this this style of like RPG where it's actually more uh, hand to hand combat, it looks like. So they're getting ready to launch their, in, their first series of NFTs here uh, on July 22nd. And these give a couple of different things. So, you know, they're launching them here uh, on Binance Smart Chain. So you'll be able to find them on the Binance Marketplace, the NFT Marketplace. And they have a couple of different levels. So the first one, which is the most important, is VIP early access. And so they're doing a couple of levels here. So they have the silver passes, uh, which go to 300. The first, I'm sorry, the first uh, 100 players are the gold VIP passes, and those are $499 each. So it's a pretty steep price tag. The next 300 are silver passes, and they're $299. And the next uh, 600 are $179 for a jade VIP pass. And so these all give you uh, VIP access to the game. But in, in, in sessions, right? So the very first 100 players, they get the first VIP access. And then maybe two or three weeks later, we don't know what the time frame is, silver and then jade after that, right? But in addition to this VIP access or early access to the game, like super VIP early access, uh, they're also dropping some uh, cinematic moment NFTs that actually come in two different varieties, we'll say. So there are these uh, these very limited cinematic ones that are uh, kind of come for, uh, come you know as part of uh, of a very limited collection of a hundred, and so you can see them broken down here. And then they also have a, 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 a an auction for a premium concept art, which was like the original one, and the bidding is going to start at 499 for that one. But one of the cool things is they also have a very approachable NFT, which is what they call postcard from space time and there are these mystery boxes so there are four different possible nfts you can get from the you know postcards from uh, space time mystery box and they represent kind of the same of the collectible of the cinematic moments uh but they're they're not as as elaborate right they're not as, as unique so these ones are are you never know what you're going to get they're in a mystery box and so you're going to have to open them uh, on july 22nd when they drop and these are only going to be 10 bucks so i think that's pretty cool is that, that at least they have a very approachable uh, concept here. It's not just going with high dollar NFTs, but if you want to get a little bit of the very first NFTs offered by Big Time in conjunction with Binance, that you can jump on board and get some of these mystery boxes or go big, right? Go big time with those big, uh, you know, early access VIP uh, NFTs here that, that get you an exclusive, uh, you know, access to to the, the game itself and when it actually launches here. And we don't have a, a timeline for it launching, but we do know that uh, they're working on this and the fact that they're launching their first collection of NFTs is a good sign. It's a great sign. So hopefully you guys uh, got this piqued your interest with big time. I know that this is still far off and that it may not be uh, launching this year, but uh, you know it is something to keep on your radar. And now if you, see, if you already see kind of what I'm seeing here, it might be worth the opportunity to get one of these VIP passes because they're very limited. Uh, you know, they're only putting out uh, what, like 900 of them total. So, uh, you know, if, if people, this game blows up, these people are gonna be looking for these passes and you may be the only ones holding them. So hopefully you guys like this overview of Big Time and their first sale here. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this uh, uh, R RPG, this this action RPG, ARPG, uh, as it's something that I'm also interested in playing too. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments of what you guys think about Big Time and if it's something you're gonna get in and if you're big time, going big time on if you're gonna go small time with those mystery boxes. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.